Older guys are giving up on dating and relationships these days. And I want to cover this topic and have a little bit of a chat about it. I'm in uh, Sydney, Australia, as you guys can see. This is in the middle of the city. Just taking a, a quick little break from a DG session. So, oh, before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS novel dating advice for the modern man. Uh, check out the top link in the description. There's some people walking by. Um, to check out my website and uh, sign up to do some cold approach coaching with myself. So, there's like a period between when you're a young man, it's like you have all the hormones going and you're, you're generally more happy and generally more content uh, and you've got all this energy. And then when you're a really old man, you're also content, usually, not all, but uh, a lot of old men they become quite content as they get a little bit older in the middle there's like this anxiety period where uh, men it's like it's almost like a biological thing where uh, we are put into this uh, this state where that pushes us to get more out of life because we're constantly driving and chasing something and we don't know exactly what it is at the end of that anxiety period, there's this part, I believe, I'm not a psychologist, where a lot of men, they get to their, say, late 30s, about mid to late 30s. This is when a lot of the uh, pickup coaches start to quit coaching. They hit about late, late 30s, 40s, and if they haven't got enough success with women during that younger years, they just tend to quit and just tend to uh, give up. Uh, or earlier on, they have this uh, this period where they they get married and then they have like a second sort of wind of uh, wind of freedom when they have a divorce around this age period. But on average, there's a lot of men just quitting the dating scene around this time period. And when you think about it. Imagine being in your late 30s and going to a nightclub. You're not going to fit in. Imagine being in your late 30s and uh, uh, swiping right on, on dating apps, trying to find a girl in her 20s that you're actually attracted to. It's a little bit more difficult than when you were in your 20s or early 30s. And then also, a lot of your friends, they're married around that time period as well. A lot of them start getting too old to want to go out and meet girls. You don't have those wingmen anymore. There's so many, not only barriers, but also men just get tired. And uh, they start to appreciate the silence. And uh, then they start, you, you notice a lot of men around that time period, they, they get into sports and drinking and they're, they're happy to just watch someone else perform a sport someone else succeed and cheer them on while drinking alcohol or whatever. This is when men start to really give up on life, in my opinion. Now, I'm in my early 40s, and uh, I, I have had unlimited things holding me back, but I'm still here and I'm still battling away. If you're in that situation where you're like, oh, I've... Uh, I've got to the point where I'm tired, I'm a little bit older, the, uh, uh, the, the market, the dating and relationship market isn't really working for you and never really has, and you start spiralling down, going down all these rabbit holes of alcohol and watching too many sports and starting getting consumed in politics, but you're not actually active in politics, you're not actually changing people's minds, you're actually just talking to your friends about politics and you're not really lobbying for anything you're not really engaged in, in in any meaningful way where you can actually shape the landscape of your country you're just talking about politics i see these guys all the time they're talking about politics they're experts on politics they're experts on the football team but in their own life they don't really have a lot going on recently a lot of a lot of guys have been posting in some of the forums about uh 
analysis of Fight Club and the, the meaning of life for men and the analysis of uh, the movie Taxi and analysis of uh, Joker and things like that. We go down a real dark rabbit hole there. But the thing is, you always have options out there and it's not often the most the most viewed videos like mine which aren't getting very many views it's not often the most popular stars because then everybody would be doing it wouldn't they there are many options out there and uh just a brief little overview of my life i i myself i uh before i hit 30 i had a hip replacement uh lost everything hit rock bottom this is what a lot of people talk about. A lot of men, they need to hit rock bottom, hardcore rock bottom, before they, it, it forces them to change their life and look for real meaning. The name of this YouTube channel, the name of my website is One Man's Life Mission. Uh, it's also, I also say one man. So it's like my life mission. Uh, and there's a difference between a goal and a mission. It's kind of, mission is kind of the same as saying having meaning in life. And if you're an older guy that has lost meaning in life and you don't know what to do and you start going down the, the, the sport politics and the, uh, becoming an expert in uh, all these other things that aren't really you engaging in society, you're just you commentating on other people in, engaging in society, then I do recommend just as an experiment, even if you're not even 100% sold on it, learning cold approach day game. Learning the ability to go up and cold approach people. Uh, a lot of these movies that I just mentioned, like Taxi and Joker and all these other ones, some, some of them had mental illnesses, communication problems, which is actually quite prevalent in the, uh, amongst a lot of single men. But if you can communicate and you, you're finding that excess existential sort of dread creeping in and you're struggling to find meaning in life getting out there learning cold approach and and spotting some you know like oh there's no one here but like we could have thought there was a girl walking by going over and approaching some girls building some sort of connections getting some dates and uh whether it goes anywhere or not you're out in the community engaging with real people instead of uh, in the pub with a bunch of other men your own age, just drinking, you're not really communicating, you're using alcohol to blur everything that's really being said, you wake up with a hangover, uh, getting engaged in politics and all these other meaningless things. Uh, getting out there and actually meeting real people in society out here. And if you don't have the social circle because a lot of your friends don't want to be your wingman and they're, they're too old and they're too boring and you don't have the social circle where there's girls that you're actually attracted to, you know, girls in their 20s or whatever, learning cold approach and going over to them and meeting them and having a chat to them and bringing them into your life is uh, very valuable. And um, I, I recommend if you're having that existential dread, you're trying to, starting to wonder what is the meaning of life and what you should be doing with your life, uh, check out the top link in the description because it does change lives. Myself, I, uh, after I had my first hip replacement in my, my late 30s, uh, my late 20s, uh, I lost everything, right? And um, uh, I needed to find meaning again. And when I, I focused on one thing, I got myself enough money to have a roof over my head, then I wanted to build my relationships with friends again. And then I wanted to also make sure that I had a, a, a constant continuum of uh, bringing women into my life. And I did that through cold approach. Even in my late 20s, I started to run out of those connections. In my early 40s, I, my late 30s, Almost a decade later, I had my, my last hip replacement. I, I hit that same point. The, th the thing that brought me back, back to life was day game. Nightclubs are a little bit of a struggle, especially in a first world country. The uh, uh, 
online dating, they, they're they not really attracted to older men unless he's in front of a Ferrari or on a yacht and they can exploit him and they're gold diggers. Cold approach, after uh, I was in my late 30s, literally, uh, you know, lost everything again. Uh, I still had a lot of money though, but I just keep myself afloat. But yeah, in my late 30s, then it got to the point where um, I started you know, getting dates with 19 year olds again through cold approach. So it is a real thing. Got back into the gym, got my life back together. And um, it's a valuable resource. So if you find yourself going down the, the Joker rabbit hole or the, uh, the the taxi, that movie, taxi, and a few other guys have been posting videos like that recently. And I'm like, whoa, it's, not a, it's a warning sign. Get involved and uh, go to the top link in the description. Like seriously, it will change your life. Seriously. For the better too. It'll give you some sort of meaning and connection with society if you're feeling a little bit disconnected. And society doesn't like men. Society hates men. They really do. Um, society treats men terribly, especially in the West. And this is how you can build those connections. And there's a lot of lovely people out there. You just need to meet them. And the only real way to get in front of them is to go and cold approach them. So top link in the description, sign up to do some coaching with myself in Sydney, Australia. I'll see you guys in the next video.